Hello everybody, Catman here. You know, in all the videos we've done, and I think everybody that does any videos probably at some point in their life overlaps because you get different groups of people as time goes by. So, you know, I've caught a ton of big flathead in my life. I've caught a ton of little flathead in my life too. Um, but I wanted to give you a review, uh, something very simple that you can remember because the most, one of the most... There's two, probably the two most common questions asked are, what rig do you use and what's the best bait? So I'm in inside today and I'm doing an informational video. I know a lot of guys seem to be, like to see another person turn on a camera, reel in a big fish, name the two or three sponsors they have, and that's it. And for some reason, I don't get it. I mean, you know, why you want to see a fish reeled in, the same fish kind of fish reeled in over and over again. Me, I prefer to stick to the informational highway, and if that uh, if that slows the growth of my YouTube channel, then I'm fine with that, okay? So, Because I, I know I'm giving out good information. So anyway, I wanted to show you, this is a Matsuo sickle hook. Now, back in the day uh, when I was guiding, um, this hook is all I used. I, I never used circle hooks. I didn't use any other J hook. I used this hook. Every big flathead I've caught virtually has been caught on this. I've caught a few on circle hooks. I've caught, but virtually every flathead I've ever caught is caught in a, in a seven eye. Okay, and and there's times when I would throw 18, 20 inch, 21 inch shad live with this hook. I would just hook them thinner, and I would also, you know, I was a big advocate for getting right up on my cover. Um, there's no sense in being 40, 50, 60 feet, 20 yards. 30 yards away from the cover you're fishing. Move in quiet, set your anchor back up to your cover, voila. Uh, you could be much more accurate if you're running a four, five, six ounce sinker and a pound and a half, two pound bait. You could be much more accurate the closer you are. Okay, so this is the hook I ran, a seven eye. A lot of people will say that's undersized for throwing great big baits. Well, I've got hundreds of, oh, thousands of flatheads that'll tell you that's different. Okay, so, and I've got thousands literally a thousand guide clients that'll tell you this is what I used in my boat okay now as time would pass uh, you know I've passed through other hook companies you know what and, and there's been a lot of good hooks uh, so you know I, I don't get on here and I don't bash other people's companies I've used a lot of good hooks in my life uh, been very blessed to use a lot of good hooks in my life however they've all kind of led me back to the same style of hook okay Everything virtually the same. Little bit less of an offset on the eye of this hook. This is the new Boss Cat, okay? This is the Super J. It is a, I mean, it is a bad hook. Uh, you, you know, you look at this thing wrong and you get hooked. It's the BK91 VP in an 8 aught. Now, I want to show you the difference in size as years have went by. This was a 7 aught, virtually from the late 90s until the mid-2015s. Two, this is an eight dot. Now, looks more than one size bigger, doesn't it? Okay, again, that's why you have to remember every company's different. It's like going and trying on a pair of jeans when you're a fat guy, right? Uh, you know, one pair of jeans that says 38, 32 uh, will fit you completely different than the other 38, 32. One you can't can't even get even close to button. The other one's got an inch of extra space. Okay, hooks are different from you know, I. I have you now. I am now using the Boss Cat. These are a great hook. They sell them in value packs, regular packs. You can get them, you know, ttibrands.com. Boss Cat, check them out. Uh, so I wanted to show you, you know, and, and rigs nowadays have are absolutely through the roof. I get my Cast King, Cast King line out here. This is some mono that I had laying here, and I want to show you quick, okay, real quick, like one more time. Cast King scissors, bam, I cut my leader line. Leader lengths can vary. The tighter I am to cover, I like to shorten up that leader. Keep that bait from getting too wrapped up in the cover. It can get wrapped, it's okay, because if Flathead wants it, he'll suck it in and he'll suck it right off of the cover, okay? There's no problem with that. You throw a bait out and it feels like it's sink or snagged in there, just leave it. If you've got confidence there's a big fish in there, leave it. If he wants it, he'll get it. I tie the simple snell knot in through the front. I wrap the hook, keep them wraps together. That's the important thing. So you got a good clean knot. 
I come back, back to front, I pull tight. This is super light line. This is only six pound line, but anyway. Okay, and then I'm gonna run that up to my swivel, have my no roll sinker above it, and that's it. Car uh, you know, uh, your basic Carolina slip rink, you know, and that's it. You don't have to go fancy. You can add rattles, you can add dragons, you can add whatever you want to it. Uh, I love sound, I love noise, I love vibration. But if you want to catch more flatheads, a good sickle style hook, Carolina rig, good quality live bait. And that'll do it. That's going to take you a long way to your goals of catching more big flathead, more flathead in general. I'll talk to you next time.